You. You there. You, yes. You watching the video. Are you ready? For today's episode? Episode number eight? And my survival Let's Play world? Are you sure? Because this episode is going to be a really good episode. Are you sure about that? Okay. Good. <laughs> but, uh, welcome back, everybody. My name is, of course, Ford Spig, and we are back on my survival Let's Play world, and, uh, this is episode number eight. Welcome back. Hope y'all are having a great day. I am, and I am super excited to be recording today. I'm, uh, I am ready, and, uh, I have gotten a lot done off camera, and I just could not wait to start recording again. So here I am. And uh, first we are over here at the mob farm, and I have done a ton of work since the last video. Um, in the last video, I believe we finished off, there were three or so layers to it. Yeah, okay, take a second guess. We are almost, uh, actually I think we're going to finish it off. We have uh, reached, I think, the maximum amount of layers or floors that I won't on the mob farm and it is seven layers I have made seven layers I've done a lot of work and um, the the getting the cobblestone for this thing was a pain in the bottom but I finally managed to uh, make something way over there which I will show y'all in just a minute after I show y'all uh, the mob farm now I haven't put in haven't put a roof on it yet and I can even use this letter to get to the top of it because it is humongous and I'm hoping that the rates for this thing or I know the rates for this thing are just gonna be absolutely insane so if you come over to the edge and you look down I mean it is layer after layer after layer I think I mean I think it's seven one two three four five yeah I believe it's gonna be seven layers and that is a mumbo huge jumbo font. I mean it's gigantic so uh, now um, it is so what we're at right now, the only problem with it is we are at 170. The, the, the highest floor up is 170. So if the, the, the highest floor is 170, then, um, then that, the, the water down there, or the, our little walkway is at um, like a little, it's like 65 blocks or so. So that means um, if the, okay, wait, hang on, let me decide. I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time. I think I want to build the top out of Haslabs. Uh, so mob has Haslab. I said that really weird. Um, so mobs won't be able to spawn on it. Um, I'm gonna do it out of I'm gonna do it out of these right here. Uh, is that? Yeah, I might as well make a lot because uh, there's a lot. But I'm gonna do this out of half slabs, and I think if you change up the color, it'll look cool. Um, but because the, I don't want the mob spawning up here, so these, uh, so, and I don't want to have to put torches and stuff just because it, it looks a little dull like that. So I'm going to half slab this, the roof up and, um, uh, but anyway, back to what I was saying about the, uh, the, the floor or the ground level down there where we're going to do most of our building is, uh, is 65 uh, blocks and mobs can only spawn up to a, 128 it, they can't be farther than 128 blocks away so that means if I'm way down there then that means they're probably not going to be spawning up on the top floor up here I mean it's a possible chance but the rates way up here aren't going to be that great um, so what I've been what I've thought about doing is the height limit is 256 so I've thought about now what I could do is I could build another um, coming off of this right here, I could go up another to uh, maybe I could go up to like 230 or something to where it's impossible for the mobs to spawn anywhere else other than the mob farm. And I think if I, you know, AFK up there for an hour or two, then the rates up there could be absolutely insane. Um, I mean, I probably could make a stack of TNT in 10 minutes or something. Um, just depending on how the uh, the spawns are in the Xbox because I know that the spawns in the PC are way more than they are in the Xbox like you can like there's I think there's like a mob cap limit or something in the in the Xbox um, I don't think there is one in the P, uh, PC uh, but either way this thing is gonna be an absolute beast and I cannot wait um, to start using it so I'm really excited to be finally putting the floor on 
Okay, so I have finished putting in the roof, and I just wanted to give y'all a view from the side. Look how massive this this structure is. And uh, let's let's real quick go inside of the actual mob farm, and uh, we're gonna take out the torches. But just look at this. This is insane. Um, this is definitely gonna be probably the best mob farm I have ever made, and in, uh, in all the time I've been playing Minecraft. But um, all right, let's real quickly. Uh, delete these torches and break them so the mobs can actually spawn in here. And I don't... Did I put... Okay, yeah, I did put... Well, maybe I didn't put torches up there. I'm going to have to go look in just a second. Um, Let's see. Is there, is there still any light up there? Okay, so no. I think this is just about perfect. Alright, so let's do that. And um, what I might end up doing is uh, putting uh, trap doors along the sides on just one of the sides right here. So it'll, it'll give the mo uh, mobs like motivation to walk off because they won't I believe they won't walk off if it's if it's um it, it might they might not be able to walk off if it's a certain drop or something so I'm not one hundred one like I'm not sure if they'll jump off the top so I might have to put half slabs down I'm not 100 100 percent sure on that um so I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to test it out and see see how it works uh, but for now um, I believe that is the the build of the mob farm absolutely 100% completed. Woo! <laughs> finally, after I think we've spent the last three or four episodes on this build, and it is finally done. So let's just put up the finishing touches just like that. And uh, there we go. So now what I kind of want to do is go down there and build, uh, build out to the middle and just build a little platform to see if mobs are actually falling down. And uh, so let's go do that real quick, and uh, we'll see. Uh, oh, is that a creeper down there? Oh no, it's a zombie. Okay. And uh, I need. Oh, I almost did that again. Ugh. Yesterday I was playing, and and uh, I was doing that down the ladders, and I fell, and I uh, died right at the end. So uh, yeah, that was kind of bad. But uh, I need to find out a, a way to light this up. I'm probably gonna end up using pumpkins. Uh, because they're they are cheaper they're, they don't they don't cost as much um, so let's do that right there and yeah let's go ahead and just use our half slabs uh, let's come out to the middle and then uh, let's build out to the middle I haven't seen I haven't seen any mobs fall yet so uh, we'll, we'll just ex we'll have to experiment this for experiment with this for a little while just to see if it if it's gonna give us anything so is this the middle uh, no, one more. All right, so let's build a maybe like a five by five. So let's go two this way, uh, two this way because when the mobs fall, they might have splash, splat damage or whatever, and um, they mo might go all over the place. So I want to make sure we get all. And I just fell. We <laughs> Darn. Yeah, placing half slabs is hard. You're always falling, in. I and mean, even when you shift click, it's really weird. You still fall off kind of anyway. Um, but let's go back over here. And add these. All right, so I'm running around the outside of the mob farm, just uh, listening to see if I can hear any mobs to see if it's even working at all. And I do hear some mobs. I hear them in the water, so um, we might actually be about to see some mobs fall out of the bottom. I can hear them in the water. So, oh, yep, there we go. Our first. Oh, we got two. Is that a creeper too? I, I'm not sure if it was or not. Um, but there we go. We. We uh we've got some mobs falling now. It is working, so that's a good that's that's a plus. Um, I want to quick, real quickly go up to the top to see if uh, any of the mobs are falling off the top. I might go into a creative world, and uh, what the heck? I just got completely knocked off that. What just happened? It's a good thing my like reflexes kept me in the water and I didn't jump off on the land. But holy cow, what just happened? All right, I'm gonna kill this. Uh, I'm gonna kill this zombie. But did you really spawn in there? Wow. Wow, these zombies are everywhere. All right, one. Now let's see. Did any of the drops stay? Oh, look what we got. We got. Okay, we don't have any bones. Or wait, let me throw. Let me throw the gravel out. So we got, all right, for just a couple. Wait, 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 wait. Um, wait. Let's throw this out. 
Nice, two gunpowder. Now, now here's the question: Is it gonna work if I'm down here? I might have to, uh, if I ever, if I want to use it, I might have to go up there, or I might have to build more floors uh, towards, more towards the ground, um, just because I built it. I might have built it a little bit too high, um, so I might have to build like a an AFK place way, way up there, and it'll only work when I'm way up there. But I mean, that's okay. If I stay up there for an hour and get tons and tons of drops, then I'm cool with that, uh, because. You know, I, I could just leave it AFK while I go and do some school or whatever, and I come back and it'll be all filled with stuff. So let's just put what we got in here for now. And then uh, I'm hoping to eventually build a AFK, or, oh, here we go. Thank you, Mr. Creeper. Oh, thank you, Mr. Creeper. So I guess it, it, it will work when you're down here, um, but the rates aren't as fast, I guess you could say. So, yeah, um... Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give it some time uh, just to see how well it works, and then uh, I'm gonna go up there, and then I'm gonna see how well it works, and then we'll compare the two um, because I can easily just stay up there for you know two hours or something and just let it run, and because uh, and I mean I'll get plenty of drops from that, so I'm I'm okay if that happens because eventually we'll get some hoppers down here, so it'll automatically collect, and uh, hopefully we'll even get a storage system down here, um, but. Yeah, I think I think that is it. So I'm gonna give it some time to run, and then I, I will bring y'all back uh, once I've got some compared statistic results. Okay, everybody. So I have done quite a bit of work on the mob farm. I've done some testing. Of I've looked around, and the farm just was not giving me. Oh, and uh, Spider Poem was just killed by a witch using magic, so uh, sorry about that. Um, but I have done some tests on this farm. Oh yeah, I'm not alone. I should probably introduce. Uh, I'm joined by a subscriber, Spider Poem. So uh, he, you can't hear him, but he is in the video, so say hi um, to him, I guess. You can't really hear him, but um, so yeah, I've done some testing on the uh, on the farm, and you know, it, it just was not producing at all. I mean, I was getting worse spawns than the the mob farm I made in my last play, last let's play war that I built on the land, and there were caves everywhere. I mean, it was awful. I wasn't getting nothing. So I decided that I was going to do a little bit of research and look around and see kind of maybe what I've done wrong. And so I did some research and I looked around, watched a couple videos, uh, looked online. And um, it turns out that I built the farm completely wrong. And I kind of had suspicion that maybe I'd done it as soon as I, uh, as I built it. And I saw that it wasn't just raining down mobs. Um, so it was kind of sad for me. Or it, I, I didn't want to think much of it. I didn't want to think much of it. But uh, let's climb up here and I will we'll explain to you what I'm talking about and I'm kind of heartbroken about this so I wouldn't say it's complete waste I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it um, but I will explain to you what my plans are gonna be from here so, uh, I, I don't know what to say I'm, act I'm actually pretty sad about it but so as you can see here I mean it, the, it, it spawns mobs like crazy I mean there's I mean obviously I there's some holes in it uh, so it's not gonna spawn um, but without the holes, I mean, there's mobs everywhere, and it spawns them everywhere. But what I did wrong is see how there are layer after layer after layer after, and he just fell from my place. That's two deaths in like five minutes. But uh, there's seven layers right next to each other, and there's only water at the bottom. Well, basically what that means is uh, the mobs won't want to jump off. Uh, it's like more than a three block jump or something so they're not even gonna want to jump off the second layer so that means or it might they might still want to jump off the second but I know it's for sure the third and up so that means for the third and up layers the mobs will spawn they'll walk around but they won't walk off now I tried putting these uh, uh, these trap doors on the sides because it acts like a block and they'll walk off uh, but it's only one wide so I can't put it on both sides so there's still no point to do that um, so what I did is when I looked up some videos on it, instead of having just floor after floor, what I did 
what what the videos had and what the what the what the actual farm is supposed to have is water on every single floor. So it'll make it a little larger. It's like five bucks per floor, but still, I mean, it. The, I mean, the results. I watched. I watched the video on the results, and it was absolutely insane. But oh my gosh, guys, I don't even know what to say. Um, I. I mean, I. Basically, I'm just gonna have to redo redo most of it and uh, I decided that what I was gonna do is uh, this was built really really high up and um, obviously I'm not gonna let that go to waste I'm gonna do something with it I'm not sure what I'm gonna do but I'm, I'm not gonna let it go to waste um, so what I've decided that I'm gonna do is I'm going to rebuild it with the water on every single floor so it will get those rates and those spawns that I want because I'm determined to build this thing um, whether how no matter how long it takes me I'm determined to build this and uh, I'm hoping that Spider Poem will help me out because he's an awesome dude. What's up? How you doing? If you're happy, spin around in circles and jump. <laughs> okay, um, but so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to... Oh, you know what? Actually, wait, Spider Poem, come here. Um, I wanted to try... I've had enough of these salty, awful tools. Um, I want to finally see if I can enchant. Um... Enchant a pickaxe or something. Um, so if uh, if you remember the last video, I tried to kill some cows and get some leather, and I didn't get enough. So I've been collecting the sugar cane. I've been collecting the bookcases and the books and the paper and the leather and all that stuff. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try and get enough books to do an enchantment, a level three enchantment. I could even do a level thirty and a level eight enchantment because I've got thirty eight levels, and I want to do that as soon as possible because I'm not sure how long. I will last. I've been doing lots. I've uh, I've died quite a bit. Oh, here's another cow right here. Give me leather. Yes, give me your leather. And uh, I just uh, bred these cows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna breed them again. So let's replant these real quick. Um, so wait, five. I need six pieces. So these cows should be ready to breed again. So I'm gonna breed them all, and then I'm gonna kill them all. And uh, hopefully this strategy. This strategy will work, so let's place that back down right there, and let's breed all the cows. So there we go. Oh wait, did I breed you? Okay, so once they once they bred, I'm gonna kill all the adult cows. Oh, not the baby. I'm try, I'm gonna try not to kill the babies, and then I'm going to, um, and then I'm gonna make all the the leather and paper into bookcases. Okay, I need to kill you. Okay, so I got three babies. Uh, I don't, you know, I really don't even care. I got seven. I got seven leather from that. So let's see if we can get ourselves out of this. Oh, and there's another cow right there. So that'll be good. We'll have even more. If we get two leather from this cow, do we get two? Yes, we got nine. That means we can make, uh, believe three from this right here. And I would kill that cow right there, but I don't really think there's enough point to because it's probably not going to give me three leather because I don't have a fortune three pickaxe. So let's make some of this right here. Nine books, which makes, if I make some wood, oh, I don't have any wood. Hang on, let me get some wood real quick. All right, let's grab, let's put that in there. All right, so if I make some of this into wood, now I should be able to make quite a few bookcases. So, okay, we've got three there. We combine the three with the nine I already have. So we got 12 bookcases. I'm not, I think it's, I hope it's 12. I hope I can do it in 12 because if you can't do it in 12, then like, what the heck? <laughs> I, w I want to be able to enchant soon, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put it there. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put it up there, uh, just because my most important stuff is up there. And actually, uh, also I built this little my this little entrance to my mining cave facility down there. I've been doing to get the cobblestone and some resources. I'll show y'all in just a minute. I built this little going into the wall. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I built that, and yeah. All right, so let's go up to the top right here, and let's see if we can find a legitimate a place enough to put the um, to put this uh, this enchantment table. And some I've been having some creeper some creeper problems, so there's no real good way to get up here now. So <laughs> yeah, I've just kind of been I've been kind of just doing that. So uh, it's gonna take I could put it over here. Uh, that would mean I'm gonna have to break this tree. Um, where should I put it, Spider Poem? Where should I put the uh, the enchantment table? Should I put it up? Should I put it over here? 
Should I take down the tree and put it over here? Should I, should I take down the tree and put it over here? Is that a yes? Yeah, I think that's I think that's a yes. So, um, you know, I could I could potentially just add it to the back. Let's see, if we had the book here space, I you know, I if we went back one more. Um, if you don't mind, can you make me a real quick pickaxe and a real quick axe? Um, here's some here's some here's some wood if you need it, and here's some iron. Here's some iron. So yeah, just make that real quick. Um, let's see. I've got this diamond pickaxe. I'm gonna use it. It's almost out, so I'm not really. I mean, it got me quite a bit of diamonds while it lasted, but I don't think it's gonna last for very much longer. So wait, if we I think if we go out just three or something. Oh, the world is about to auto save, so don't worry about that. Ooh, thank you so much. All right, so let's just real quick wait for this to autosave. Uh, let me tell you the story about the autosave real quick. Um, I have my autosave interval on 15 minutes because uh, one time I was playing for two hours, and then my brother uh, came onto my world and exited without saving. And uh, let me tell you, I was not happy about that. And uh, since then, I've kept my autosave on 15 minutes just because I really, really don't want that happening again. I spent, I mean, two hours of stuff just wasted. So let's let's build uh, these books over here. Hopefully, I don't, I don't even think this is going to be close to enough, uh, but we'll try. So wait, what? 24, so close. Ah, darn. All right, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a level eight enchantment on my pickaxe just because. I'm breaking one, so not the greatest, but I'll take it. Um, still off 30 levels, so uh, I will come back. Uh, I'll keep repopulating the cows and doing all that stuff. Um, but I am me and Spider Poem. Uh, we are going to go and we're going to work on the mob farm and we're going to build it the right way. And I will come back and explain to you how we're doing it and uh, show you all the, the right way to build it. Don't look at that up there. That's the wrong way to do it. Um, but we will go and get working on that, and then we will bring y'all back in just a minute. So, yeah. Okay, so just a little update. We have built two floors on the mob farm, and it is going great. Um, I, I can already just feel that the spawn rates are going to be incredible, and I'm actually doing it right. And uh, I'm actually building it on level 90, I believe, so the ground is 65. So it's only just a little bit over 30 blocks high. So um, I was uh, being stupid, and I opened up one of those chests up there, and I found 10 pieces of leather. So if we need... If I have 12 and I need four more, uh, that means it takes three, uh, three leather to make a single bookcase. So that means if I can get, I believe if my math's right, if I can get two leather out of these cows, then um, I can uh, be able to make a level 30 enchant. So I'm going to kill a couple of these guys. Uh, I, didn't, I haven't gotten any yet. Are you serious? Oh, wait, I got some over here. Okay, we got 12. Um, do you think I can get three more from the rest of honey little dudes? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and kill these guys. Oh, that was a good one. I need one, one out of this guy. Oh, sweet, he gave me two. Okay, so, uh, I'm actually, there's a lot of people in the game right now. There's four people in the game, and everyone's just running around, helping out, uh, doing various assortments of jobs, and I guess one of them is someone built a fence gate right there. So, thank you to whoever did that. That's actually really helpful, because I'm tired of breaking all the blocks. But, uh, we are going to go up here and I'm going to replace the enchantment table and the uh, the bookcases because um, like I said my autosave I died over on the over on the mob farm over there and a lot of stuff broke so uh, I uh, exited without saving and yeah uh, we're gonna do this we're gonna, we're gonna try this again so let's build out uh, nope I am awful <laughs> placer holy cow okay so let's build out uh, just a little bit. Let's go one more. Four, five. All right. So I have. Oh, you know what? The the paper is down there. Darn it! I'm gonna have to go back down there. Um. Yeah. Wait. Is this stuff? Okay. Yeah. So the books and stuff are in there. So let's jump off into my little puddle. I can't tell you how many times I have died trying to jump into that. All right. So let's go 
and grab. Yep, see, look at them harvesting the sugar cane. I, I'm gonna, I, I kind of want to call them my Minecraft helpers. They're just kind of helping me with various jobs and assortments of jobs and stuff like that. So let's grab. Let's also grab a stack of wood because you can never go wrong uh, with a stack of wood. And uh, I'm also doing this en enchantment on a uh, pickaxe. Uh, because I'm about to go help Jesus Freak mine for some cobblestone, which we will eventually turn into stone. Uh, which we are at a, another... Uh, <laughs> I'm short of cobblestone and stone once again, and coal. So, I'm going to have to go, and uh, we're going to do some mining, and hopefully get enough to build at least uh, four, or five, four, or five, or six layers. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to build ten when it's all said and done. Uh, but for this video, I might finish off with uh, a good... I don't know, maybe maybe five five layers is 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 my is my goal is what I'm shooting for, uh, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do that. Okay, so we got holy cow, we got 24 books. That's gonna get us eight bookshelves. Dang, I've got <laughs> I had all kinds of this stuff and I didn't even know it. Yeah, oh, we have t we have plenty. We have absolutely plenty to do a level 30 enchantment now. So let's grab these. All right, let's run over here. And uh, place these, all right, just like this, and then across the back over here. Perfect. Now I believe this right here should give us a level 30 enchantment. Perfect. There it is. All right. So I'm going to make another diamond pickaxe because why would you enchant anything else that's not diamond? And then I'm going to make some sticks and then a diamond pickaxe. There we go. And uh, let's hope for Silk Touch um, and Efficiency 4 and Unbreaking 3. That would be the absolute perfect pickaxe for this situation. So let's just go first bang. Here we go. Leave a comment down below right now what you think I'm going to get in this enchantment. And the person who gets it right, um, I've got something special. I'm going to be starting in my next video. And whoever gets the right... Uh, call on what they think it is. Whoever guesses it right will be the first person to be um, recognized in it. So there's a little hint, but I, I'm going to give you just a little bit more time. And I think that's enough time. So hopefully you've guessed already and there's no cheating. Uh, but here we go. Let's just do it. We've done it. Efficiency 3 on breaking 3. Oh, that's awful. What the heck is that? Come on. Are you serious? I know they can do better than that. That was awful. Only we didn't even get efficiency four. I mean, I mean, I I guess I'll take it. Um, it's pretty bad, but you know I'll be thankful that I'm not using uh, iron pickaxes. So um, we are going to continue. I'm going to go down, uh, get some more resources for the big. That, that looks really weird. It looks like a. I don't know what that looks like. It's like a big old thing up there, and then a little little old thing down there. And eventually, this will be a big old thing, just like that big old thing. But for now, it's just a little thing. Um, so I'm gonna go and get some more resources, and then I will bring y'all back when I get finished with uh with that. What is it? <laughs> what the heck? It's not dying. Okay, then. <laughs> That's weird. Um. So I guess that creeper is just going to be chilling there for a while. Um, but I think that is all we have to do for the mob farm. Oh, we've got... Oh, did that, did that lightning strike the trees? I, I really hope not. Um, that would be bad if all of a sudden I look over and uh, my entire village is on fire. Um, but I guess that creeper is just going to continue to fall until it gets bumped or something. Um, I was hoping that there would be more spawns in this. There must be some caves underground that I don't know about. Um, I might have to go way up there uh, just to see, just to get some real results on how well this thing performs. And that thing might be distracting it up there. Um, so uh, I think I am just about going to wrap it up here for this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have making it. I um, really love making these videos for you guys. Um, some... Uh, some really exciting news, the COD 2015 that is confirmed of Black Ops 3, so if you haven't checked out that video, then definitely go and uh, watch that one. Uh, I'll try to remember to put a link down in the description. Um, the next episode, I'm going to try to get it midweek. I'm trying to go two Let's Play episodes every single week, so uh, yeah, I 
we, we, we reached a huge milestone. We built uh, the moth farm, and hopefully by the next or in the next or the next couple, we will um, be able to get that one removed and add on to this one. I'm hoping to get 10 layers. It's at five layers right now. Um, but that is the end of this video here. I hope you enjoyed it, and I thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye, everybody. Peace signs when I look around.